We didn't intend on starting a bike company. We just wanted to make a couple of bikes. Instead, we started a movement. Eventually, we decided to goad each other into making a frame, put our thoughts and our wants into something that really pushed the envelope. That bike would come to be known as the Narpoon. Dividing the industry, the sport, in half. Either we were creative geniuses or the dumbest bunch of hipsters. There was no in between. We spent a year building and testing various prototypes with the crew. Suddenly, the industry started to take us seriously. We were everywhere. At one point, I walked into a store and we were in three magazines on the same shelf. Our social media blew up. It was really surreal. Way before we even should have done, we had a team and it started off with, with Josh and Alex and, and actually and Ethan, who was working with Dirt Magazine at the time. And we knew it was really important to actually have a, a team together. One, because we didn't want to live in an echo chamber. So we chose people that we knew would give us realistic feedback on the frames. Having these guys on the Enduro World Series circuit, Josh at Crankworks, we got to find out what was gonna make our bikes better. Our first prototypes had an array of complex linkages, and while the performance was marginally improved, we found that with a high and active single point, you got rid of a lot of complex things that can get damaged, a lot of needless bearings to service, and the bane of every bike shop. So we focused on a single row of oversized bearings doing the brunt of the work, but we also used needle bearings in the shock mounts to reduce breakaway force, and our isolated chain tension means no pedal or suspension conflict. This leads to an active rear suspension system geared for gravity. And we've all seen those recent World Cup runs with high pivots. You know what I'm talking about. Indiegogo is a crowdfunding platform. It's a way of us to get funding for the brand without having to rely on banks, loans, shady kind of corporate people getting involved. It allows us to fund the brand by selling things to you. So we reward you for pledging a donation to the brand that will help us develop this bike. Our pledges start at five pounds and we have something, hopefully for everyone, in terms of tiny little custom components like stem caps, one-off products like signed prints from Joe, or even the blueprints for Slepnir, all of them quite affordable. Of course, it really wouldn't be a sick crowdfunder without doing a bunch of limited edition t-shirts. And we really knocked it out of the park for you on these ones. Your investments are important to us because it means it's a bike company owned by riders, for riders, funded by riders. So we can guarantee that we're making things for you, not for shareholders. We out.